Hi, I'm Alan Myers. I'm a freelance graphic artist, and I also work with Assimilations here at Team FBC. I recently came back from a mission trip, and while we were there, I got to work with, you know, 16, 18 different people, and we were all of one mind and had the same goal, to bring people to Jesus. Another cool thing about Panama and whenever we go and the partnerships that we have is you just get to see the boots on the ground. You want to be wherever God is. When you're seeing that cool stuff happen, you want to be there. You want to be a part of it. You want to feel like, I got to, I got to be a part of this. It's just, it's intoxicating. Everything you do, whether it's working out or fishing or like whatever your thing is, use that as an opportunity to get to know people who don't know Jesus because a lot of times, we, like if we live in church world, we don't get to know people that need church. Roger was probably the first person oh, who yeah. inspired us. He was like, we only had, I don't know, 15, 20 people in our youth, and he's like, guys, we got to get more people in our youth. So we did. We took that challenge, and we invited our whole volleyball team and more. We already had like a relationship with them, and it was really easy because we already built that bridge with them. So like inviting them to church, it wasn't like awkward at all. Roger and Luke do a lot of stupid things on Wednesdays, oh, yeah. so we can just be like, hey, come watch Roger get pied in the face or something stupid. And they're like, oh, cool, that sounds so fun. <laughs> just talking about normal stuff, not even talking about Jesus. Like, talk about Jesus later. A lot of people won't listen to a lot of gospel talk. You know, they, they probably had the Bible slapped over their head a bunch. I always felt like when I was growing up, there was this long list of like, say this, 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 and this, and you have to know these 20 Bible verses or they're, it's never going to work. It's never going to take. I don't know all the answers, you know, biblically, but one thing I do know is that I really wanted to follow Jesus. I want people to find the joy that I have found after me being um, the person that I was um, before. I want people to know that he can make that difference in their life too seeing that someone that I built that relationship with to come to Christ and invite more people like that's just a good feeling and so like if you get closer to that feeling I feel like you get closer to God in that and just watching those people take like leadership roles like for instance Grayson like her singing on stage and you're like whoa like I invited her to church that's what excites me the most is seeing that change in people they have hope they have something to look forward to they have an eternity to look forward to but they've got Sunday coming and you can be part of that, to think that you can be part of God's story just by inviting somebody to church. It's such a small thing to do. And so many of us just pass up the opportunities. The more people you share with, the easier it gets. We make it harder than it definitely needs to be, for sure. sure. A couple of years ago, I lost a close coworker, and it was very sudden. And so, like, just knowing that there were conversations I should have had that I didn't, um, you know, it just, it makes it way more serious sharing christ with people it's kind of scary but also the threat of not knowing where they're going not going to spend like how do i know where they're going to spend eternity guess what that's hard because you have friends and family that you want to see in heaven with you so if everyone had those people then the kingdom of god would be like tripled <laughs> if you're like we can share to these random people that we've never talked to before in our life like we can share to like one of our best friends and I see Jesus doing that, you know, he said, come follow me. He didn't say, do this, do that. He led as an example. There was a lot of things in the gospel, um, especially Mark goes from miracle to miracle to miracle, you know, and, and what Jesus did and he did this and he did that. But you have to think that's a lot of walking, you know, that's a lot of time together. Um, basically spend time with that person. If you're trying to share somebody what Jesus is doing, I'm in the gospel, go do what Jesus did, you know, you don't have to perform miracles to be nice.